And breaking news tonight, a judge overrules Colorado's attorney general saying victims of the Lower North Fork fire should receive millions more than the state claims board offered. Marshall Zellinger breaking this exclusive story. Marshall, up till tonight, victims told you they felt victimized all over again. Teresa, we've been working this week with several victims to help tell their story of the frustration they feel after the state claims board significantly reduced the compensation they were to receive. With little reason, they suddenly tonight, a judge agreed with them. Reinstate millions of dollars for 19 families. You keep getting burned over and over and over again in a different way. For more than two years, Scott Apple has waited for fair compensation for his burned land, charred equipment, and the love of his life, Anne. I had no idea how difficult and expensive the process would be. Tonight, a judge has him one step closer to receiving compensation from the state for the fire it set. After a 7 News investigation, an independent panel made up of these four former judges, all with experience determining losses from fire, spent two months for free figuring out the dollar amounts owed to victims. This court document from May 2013 shows the special master's determination of value will be final and binding on the participating parties, meaning the victims and the state. Where I come from. Binding means binding. But earlier this month, the state's claims board altered those values. Four and a half million changed to 3.1 million. 146,000 dropped to 63,000. Presto changeo. The deal's off once again. We wanted to know why the claims board changed the values if this court record says they're binding. In this court document filed on April 15th, the attorney general writes, the claims board as a separate deliberative body is not bound. The attorney general is not is speaking out of both sides of his mouth. He is not consistent. The claims board reduced Tom Scanlon's offer by about half. I am exhausted by the deceit and treachery that I've seen. The victims went back to court asking a judge to honor the independent panel's recommendations. The attorney general objected, saying any court judgment would be limited to the state's $600,000 liability limit for all victims total. In his order tonight, the judge disagrees with the attorney general, writing, the intent of the legislature was to permit trial courts to enter judgment against the state in amounts exceeding the tort cap. The attorney general's objection is not well taken. Here's what happens next. The attorney general has until Friday to respond, which could include an appeal. If that does not happen, I've learned that a state lawmaker will likely have to sponsor a bill that includes all of those claims so that the victims can get about $16 million. And if it's done by the first week in May, they could get paid this year. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.